Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now today we're going to take a look at how to restring the legs on a vintage Henshin Cyborg, the guy on the right, or if you're in America or the UK you would know him as a Denny's Fisher Cyborg or Muton. Now I recently picked this up on a trip to Tokyo. I did a trade with a good friend of mine uh, and it's the first one I've ever had, but it suffers from a fairly standard problem which is the legs are loose. Now the reason I have an action man standing next to him is because the basic setup for the Henshin Cyborg is that of an Action Man G.I. Joe body. Most of the body parts, in fact, pretty much all of the body parts are just recasts of that, uh, but with some new internal working. So you can see that there's all sorts of uh, metallic heat sort of bits inside the Henshin Cyborg. So the construction is basically the same, but there is a slight problem in the fact that the legs are held on in a different way. And because he is clear, you can clearly see inside him and see the construction. So the normal way that I would fix the legs on an Action Man is to cut the elastic and then retie it. But on this one, we're gonna to have to do a slightly different job. So let's take a look at uh, the problems that are ahead of us and see what we can do to fix it. So the first thing you notice if you're used to fixing Action Man is that the elastic only goes as far as the sort of the lower chest area. There's a hook that comes down and you can see that the legs are hooked onto that. In a normal Action Man, this elastic goes all the way up and holds the head on. There's a hook on the bottom side of the neck post that, uh, that it's all hooks to. So really we're only going to be dealing with this small area here. So if I just pull the elastic, I should be able to unhook that like that and we can uh, move the torso to the side and then we're just left with the legs. Now the reason these legs go floppy is that this elastic loses its elasticity and is not quite as uh, elastic as it should be and so it doesn't pull the legs up taut enough. Uh, really if I just grab that bit of elastic there if I can and pull it a little bit tauter you can see the legs go nice and uh, sort of tight straight away. So what we've got to do is to shorten this elastic. Now normally I would cut off these little uh, metal tags that you can see here and then re-thread the elastic over the uh, metal bar. But because you can see this, because it's all clear, we're going to try and do this another way and unhook uh, part of uh, this little clasp and then reattach the elastic to the clasp that's there. So first thing that I need to do is actually just cut the elastic because we know it's a bit too long at the moment and I'm not, not going to replace this elastic. I'm going to use this original elastic because it still does have stretch in it. It just needs to be shortened probably by about that much. So first up I'm going to just cut this a little bit shorter, a little bit like so. And then we can try and unhook uh, this end before reattaching that end. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use a pair of pliers to gently un sort of clasp this little metal clasp here. Now these little uh, sort of hook pieces are impossible to get off because of the way they are constructed but they are, if you want to buy replacement ones, they are called uh, crimp connectors. You can see I have a few here and they're used in electronics and these are basically the same thing uh, but the problem is the metal bar is sort of uh, riveted in place and so you can't easily get uh, that off. So what we're going to do, a pair of pliers and I'm going to try and gently bend the metal out of the way. It's going to be harder than you think actually. It's The metal is incredibly hard but I think with a bit of perseverance I may be able to do it. Yeah you can see it's slowly bending so I'm just going to push this in and bend that out of the way. This is going to take quite a while. So that's the first half done. You can see uh, that I can move the bit of elastic inside. So now I've just got to do the other side, which might be a little bit more awkward because it's going the wrong way. that and at some point we should be able to pull this elastic out. There we go. So you can now see that I've all sort of unbent the two ends of that clasp. Just could do with bending it a little bit more so squeeze those in there. Gently bend them out. So you can see that the clasp is now open and all we've got to do is thread the other bit of elastic in but that may be trickier than you'd imagine. Right, the next part of this is the slightly trickier part. You can see I still have the elastic threaded through as it was originally and we've cut off, well, about 
a centimeter and a half and I actually need to cut off a little bit more uh, but I'll probably leave you know maybe another sort of half a centimeter off at the end of this so I'm just going to use a knife just to cut that off like so now comes the tricky bit because we've now got to put this back into the little class bend there. So what I have is some locking uh, sort of scissors. Now these are the things that, uh, uh, well, surgeons and that use and you can see that they lock together. There's a little clasp on the end there and you can lock them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the elastic as much as I can through the leg hole and then I'm going to put these on and lock them in place like so. So you can see that the elastic is now held out of one leg, which means I've got enough of it that I can start to thread that into the old uh, clasp and then squeeze that back together. So this bit does become a bit tricky because you've now got to thread the elastic back through that little clasp. I'm just using a pair of pliers here to do that. So you can see that is now held in place, but because we have these, it's much easier. Uh, so I've now got another pair of slightly bigger pliers and I'm going to crimp that back together as hard as I can to hold everything in place. So what you want is the elastic held nice and firmly within those. You can see it holds, holds quite easily once you start this process. I'm just going to squeeze that as much as I can. That looks like it's held pretty firm so I can unhook these scissors and you can see that that is back in place. Now if I grab that, I'll actually grab it with these scissors just for the moment and pull it, you see that's now a lot shorter and the legs are held in place. So we've now just got to thread this back onto the hook and uh, put the figure back together. To get that elastic through I'm going to use a little bit of thread as I have here and I'm actually just going to hook that through the leg hole because we know that that's where the elastic is and then I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to grab that thread, both bits of that thread like so. We can pull that through the pelvis area so we're now through the pelvis and I can then pull this as tight as I can. You can see it's a lot shorter now and I've got to pull that and hook uh, the legs onto the hook of the torso at the same time. I might have to do that off camera because it's really quite awkward. You have to pull and hold everything in one go, uh, which is easier said than done when there's a camera in your face. So let me just do that off camera. Uh, it is possible though, so I'll show you at the end. And here he is with the legs reattached. As you can see, he's now capable of standing unaided, which he wasn't able to do beforehand. The original shot I showed you at the setup was him leaning against the wall, so he can now stand freely. And as you can see, the insides still look exactly as they would have done when he came out of the packet. So uh, it's a much more fiddly fix than uh, restoring an action man because everything in an action man is hidden away. But if you want to do it properly, then this is the way to do it. So I hope that's been of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.